me even know the party make up the PNC, APNU, AFC, however the party make up. I was never a member of the party. The only political party I, Meli Mel, has ever been a member of was YAL Party, the PPP, the PPP Civic Party. I was a member of YAL Party. We have noticed that people who had sand pits were jacking up the prices. The government already opened up some public sand pits. We intend to open up more public sand pits to lower the price. So we're not giving permission for no sand pit. I used to run your political campaign when Donald Ramatar win the presidency from the Red House in Kingston. Mm -hmm. I used to do the campaigning when we used to share out book bag, when we used to go into villages and share out book bag and them kind of thing. We've had, we have had about 200 applications to sand pits so far because it's a lucrative thing now. The sand prices have gone up. Me and you used to knock glass. Me and you, Barajak, you used to knock glass right at, at, um, at State House. You want to tell you when and who I used to come with because you very well know who I used to come to State House with. We used to knock glass and drink. Ask your president, Afan Halley, how he know me before when he was Minister of Housing, when he was Minister of Agriculture. Ask him how he know me. Me and Ali, I used to knock glass. Um, first of all, as you know, we have a difficult situation there on the highway. A number of people are living on the highway without, um, we've been living there for a number of years without the right documentation. You, Jack Dio, the some Melly Mel, yes, me used to drink glass at State House. Me used to knock glass and drink rum together. Me, you and the little girls, them. If you have to call him and bring pictures, I get it too. Plenty. I used to go in Nandalal House too when he had the first wife. Not this wife we get now. All day we used to go knock glass and drink. I know I have business. Delta 9 family, welcome back to the flight. And if this is your first time flying with us, do remember to hit that thumbs up button on your way in. Now, if there's one thing that you must appreciate about Melly Mel, besides that amazing smile, is just her poise, her confidence, and just that unique bit of clarity that she gives to any situation that she chooses to expose. And in this video right here, she's exposing the underworld of the PPP She's giving us a unique insight, a unique view into what's going on. Allegedly, allegedly, but interesting nonetheless. Insights that only a person that was a part of the party could give you. Insights that only a person that used the knock glass could give you. And we're going to jump right into this conversation that Meli Mel is about to have. And we're going to hear the insights from the PPP on the world. Let's get right into it right now with Miss Melly Mel. I don't business about y'all and y'all politics. PPP, AP and UFC, I don't care about y'all and y'all politics. I, Melly Mel, was never ever a member of the PNC, PPP, of the PNC, AFC, or the, well, AFC, the AFC, AP and U. Wherever, however the party make up, mean even how the party make up, the PNC, APNU, AFC, however the party make up, I was never a member of the party. The only political party I, Melly Mel, has ever been a member of was YAL Party, the PPP, the PPP Civic Party. I was a member of YAL Party. You understand? And the only other political party I was ever a member of was TCI. Okay. Yes, so I, I am a product. I was a member of Yal Party. Yal, the PPC, PPC party that abusing me now. I was a member of Yal Party. I used to run Yal political campaign when Donald Ramatar win the presidency from the Red House in Kingston. Mm -hmm. I used to do the campaigning when we used to share out book bag, when we used to go into villages and share out book bag and them kind of thing. I was a member of Yal Party. I was never a member of the PNC or the AP and UAFC. So y'all don't try to label me as no PNC, no AP and UAFC member now. I was a member of y'all party. Hold on. Me and y'all used to knock glass. Me and you, Barajak, you used to knock glass right at, at, um, at State House. You want to tell you when and who I used to come with? Because you very well know who I used to come to State House with. 
We used to knock glass and drink. Ask your president A from Hali how we know me before when he was minister of housing, when he was minister of agriculture. Ask him how we know me. Me and Ali, I used to knock glass. Anand Prasad. Harry Prasad knocked the son. Sham Nakta, me and Ali, all. I was a member of the PPP. I used to do youth parliament. Michael Young will be posting thing about me. Don't go there. You want to go there with me. I know your business, your story. No, inside out too. Me, me, Michael Young used to do youth parliament together for the PPP. I don't mix me now your politics. Because I know your business. And I get the evidence for sure too. I was a member of y'all party. Me and I used to drink a knock glass together. Me, all y'all. You Jack Deal, the some Melly Mel. Yes, me used to drink glass at State House. Me used to knock glass and drink rum together. Me, you and the little girls, them. If you want to call him and bring pictures, I get it too. Yes, Efran, me, you. Remember, we used to have a BM house in Happy Acre, the house at Happy Acre. Every weekend, we used to have when we had BM Soat house, we used to there by um, Nanda, Nanda Gopal. A very nice big man, the house in Happy Acre. I was a member of the PPP. I was a YAL member. I'm a product of the PPP. I also know y'all good. I know y'all business good. That's why I could warn the people them but y'all. That's why I could warn the little girls them but y'all. So y'all don't try to label me as no PNC or no AP and UAFC. I was y'all. I was a member of the PPP y'all party. And I get all the evidence to prove in my phone. Plenty, 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 plenty. Plenty. I used to go in Nandalal house too when he had the first wife. Not this wife we get now. All day we used to go knock glass and drink. And know our business. Understand? So yes. So when you're, when you're peddling the narrative, peddle the right narrative. I was a member of Yal Party. The PPP Civic Yal Party. Not, I'm not the AP and UFC. I've never been a PNC. The only two political parties I've ever been affiliated with is the PPP and TCI. That's it. Oh, you still didn't get your ticket? This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. Um, first of all, as you know, we have a difficult situation there on the highway. A number of people are living on the highway without um, we've been living there for a number of years without the right documentation there's some people who have documents that are not part of the record of in our in the system we're trying to get large tracts of land to do uh, the silica city in the, on the highway so we want the land for public use for housing and a development of new tongues along the highway, etc. So we can't wantonly give out. We have noticed that people who had sand pits were jacking up the prices. The government already opened up some public sand pits. We intend to open up more public sand pits to lower the price. So we're not giving permission for no sand pit at this time. That is the position that's clear. So if the, the EPA has a notice out, the government will based on what they heard from somewhere else to give sand pits to these two individuals, then the government of Guyana's position is clear. There is no, it's not going to happen. Now, they may, they may have the land for agricultural use. That is what people have land for, but not for the purpose of mining sand. We have to have a strategy that brings down the price. We've had, we have had about 200 applications to sand pits so far because it's a lucrative thing now. The sand prices have gone up. And a lot of people who have these sand pits, they even undermine, they come close to the road, they do all sorts of things. So they, they, if the story, though, I saw it in one of the newspapers, is based on what the EPA published, it's not going to happen. Now sometimes, you just gotta play fool for catch wise, and sometimes, not just sometimes, all the time. You just got to pay careful attention when people talking so that you could pick up on certain things, even beyond what they might be trying to prove. Now, if you were to step to the VP and say, VP, 
Do we have an immigration problem? Do we have a problem with the Venezuelan migrants coming across the border and populating Guyana in a way that is unsustainable to his infrastructure right now? He would say, what do you mean? Where you got that from? The video that you're seeing right now playing in the background is the National Guard being called out to patrol the subways of New York City. The A train, 3 train, any train going into the city, you're more than naturally going to see some of them. Why? Because of the immigrant crisis that's going on in the state right now. Remember, New York is a sanctuary city. It's friendly to immigrants. Guyana is a sanctuary country. It's friendly to the immigrants coming across the borders right now. Well, look at what's going on in New York, right? And think about this. Guyana is way closer with enough more resources, oil, and powder. I don't know if anybody else that's listening to the video might see what's going on here. But think about it. You got a problem with persons that are undocumented along the highway, along the highway heading to the miners' village of Linden. Then you have miners that's coming out with money and big amounts of gold, big amounts of wealth on them, right? Being robbed and killed, right? And this is not a original situation. This situation happens over and over and over again but it's getting more rampant now and a lot of persons are finding themselves on the wrong end of this immigration situation so we don't have a problem with immigration in guyana we got a problem with undocumented persons living along the highway for a number of years now you see what i'm saying that's what we got going on right now but these brothers right here Rise in power and condolences to your family. This situation is not isolated. Think about it. In Atlanta, Georgia, right now, you got a young student that just lost her life. And who's connected to it? The same Venezuelan gangs, right? And the theory is because when they apprehended them in New York on the same situation, shooting at the cops, robbing people, doing all types of foolishness that they shouldn't be doing, right? You're hearing that now the money is being taken and invested in their home country. But we know that a lot of Venezuelans allegedly, allegedly and allegedly are living in Guyana and moving out of Venezuela and moving into neighboring countries like Guyana right now. So, where are they investing this money? Where are they moving to? Right? But we don't have an immigration problem. We have a problem with undocumented persons living along the highway for a number of years now. So, you heard it there. Straight from the mouth of the Vice President, Jack Dio. He said that Sun is real expensive right now. And a whole set of people just want to open a set of sand pit. Right now, we're looking for sell the sand. So we ain't giving nobody no more sand pit. We ain't giving out no land along here no more for no sand pit. If you want to grow something in the sand, you could come and try for do that. But other than that, we controlling the price for sand right now. We ain't giving out no more sand pit. 100% wildcrafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? I make Melly Mel used to gotta drop your home, Melly Mel for talk. I don't make Melly Mel used to gotta drop your home, I didn't from fucking me. You can't ever drive the vehicle where you drive cars and know it. Can't play hold for your pokey, you don't get contract, but you gotta fuck through. Thinking you get some contract. They may never give you the shortest street in the world, Piccadilly, for do. You will never get a sweeping contract to sweep the fucking road. Your yeah, dental school empty. Them on fucking certified in your fucking doctor where you got it. Pulling up people wrong. Teeth out of mouth.